Today, new crusaders struggle to slay the littlest dragons that lurk in the world of poverty. The rotavirus, a tiny waterborne microbe that kills over five million children a year. Five million, mainly in countries of the developing world. In the war against rotavirus, this is the battlefield, a village in central Brazil. The town is called Terra Firma, but it's built precariously over the Guana River. The Guana River is the only running water here. It's the local sewage system. Unfortunately, it's also the local water supply. In collaboration with the World Health Organization, Dr. Alexander Linares and his team from the Instituto Evandro Chagas in Brazil track the rotavirus and try to help young mothers battle the disease. But fuel to boil water is hard to come by. Sanitation is hard in a floating slum in the tropics. The virus is so stable that human-to-human -human transmission perpetuates in the community. We know that improving sanitation conditions, improving hygiene is very important, but uh, it's not sufficient in order to control rotavirus diarrhea. It is necessary to have an effective vaccine. The researchers monitor the children's health and test their blood to study how they develop antibodies to the virus. They conduct field trials evaluating the efficiency of a candidate vaccine. This vaccine, if approved, could potentially save 800,000 young lives a year. It would require mass immunization, but that's an area where the World Health Organization already has a lot of experience.